let me show you how um, in physics we, we write, uh, we specify a particular isotope of an atom. And this is the general notation, right? This is the symbol of it. So really it's going to be like carbon or something like that instead of X, obviously, right? And then A is the atomic mass number because in the nucleus there are protons and neutrons. If you add the proton and the neutron number together, you get the, the number of nucleons, right? They being the denizens of the nucleus. Okay, And then Z is the atomic number. That's what we call it in physics. That's the number of protons. That tells you what element you have, right? So, for example, um, carbon is element 6, right? Everybody knows this. those two things are redundant. You don't need to say carbon 612. Carbon means 6, okay? But this is not redundant, okay? There's carbon 12. There's also carbon 14, right? So this, but this specifies a particular isotope, right? Now, if 12 is the number of neutrons and protons, and 6 is the number of protons, then how many neutrons are there? Well, there's you know 12 minus 6, right, is the number of neutrons. Whoa. <laughs> wow, that's good handwriting. Okay, so the number of neutrons is just A minus Z, okay? That's the neutrons. And that's the, the hardest calculation we're going to do, you know, in this video, right? Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about isotopes, and uh, let me show you, you know, the real chart of the elements. Okay, yay. Okay, so this is carbon-12, and we just talk about it. We call it carbon-12. Carbon also means, remember, element six, right? So, so we can just say carbon 12, and it means exactly the same thing as this, right? There's also carbon 14, right? So carbon 14, well, carbon 14 is, is the same element, but it's a different isotope, okay? Chemically, it's the same. It's got six protons, therefore six electrons. It's got the same number of unfilled uh, orbitals and it makes the same chemical reactions, right? Some of the ca carbon in your body is actually carbon-14, right? Um, but carbon-14 is radioactive. The nucleus actually is unstable and it beta decays into uh, nitrogen-14, which is, is, which is stable. So carbon-14 is actually created by cosmic rays in the atmosphere um, and it's got a, it's got a half-life of uh, I think like 5,730 years. Um, it is what they use for carbon-14 dating. And the way that works is that, of course, your body, since you breathe carbon from the atmosphere, some of that carbon is this radioactive carbon, right? And then when you when you die, uh, or when a tree dies, you know, right, the, the, the wood quits ingesting the carbon, right? And then uh, the carbon just radioactively decays, and all you have to do is look at the ratio of carbon-14 to carbon-12. And then something that's really old, there's not much carbon-14 left. And if it's not that old, there's a lot left, right? Um, anyway, what else do we say about this, right? Uh, it's an isotope, right? So this is when we talk about isotopes, that's what we mean, right? Chemically the same, nuclearly different, right? Okay, and then we write them this way, carbon-14, carbon-12. Uh, let me show you the real chart of the elements now, okay? Uh, where is that thing? There it is. Okay, uh, let's see, that tab there. Okay, um, if you take a look at this, this is like all the elements. Let's just zoom in on one little part there. Okay, and uh, there you can see the, this is the, the elements, and this is the atomic number. This is atomic number one, atomic number two, atomic number three, four, five, carbon is number six, right? Okay, um, and there is our carbon-14. Notice that carbon-14 is unstable, right? And it has a, let's see, it is one of these guys, right? So it is greater than 10 years, less than 100,000 years, right? The white things are, are very short. They have very short half-lives, right? Just meaning so short that we really can't measure them. Okay, the red ones are really pretty hot. So if you look through here, the blue things are the stable elements. Notice, by the way, there's no, nothing with a um, five, nothing with five nucleons is stable. Don't know why. Nothing with uh, eight nucleons is stable. That's kind of interesting, huh? Right, and then you can actually go in and look at one of these. So you click on that. Those are all links, and it does a beta decay to nitrogen 14, and uh, there's its exact mass, 
right? Um, and don't confuse the mass number with uh, uh, the mass, okay? The mass number is the number of nucleons, and then this is the actual mass of that, right? And that's not the mass. That's not the average mass like you see on the periodic table. That's the mass of that particular isotope. And that's why this is really the chart of the atoms, right? A periodic table, we just that's for chemists, right? And they just want to have some average of all the isotopes, right? Um, and then, yeah, that's all you need to know. The practice problems practice getting the number of neutrons.